hello everyone i hope all you are doing very good in your life today in this video we will try to cover types of beams applications of beams and one derivation that is very important derivation as per vtu syllabus that is rectangular beam or cantilever expression this is an important derivation as per vtu syllabus this may come for 8 marks and remaining types of beams and applications of beams may expect for 2 2 marks from each topic to understand the previous concept i would like to request you to press the i button so that you will go for previous videos try to understand and then we'll continue in this video before i would like to request you to subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you will never miss any kind of updates which is coming from my channel and to support my channel i would like to request you to share with your friends and in the description box i have provided the link to download the soft copy of this module notes so with this let's roll the intro In the previous video, we already learned about beams or especially the expression for rectangular beam. So in this video, we will see the types of beams and applications of beams. So there are four types of beams are there. One is simple beam and second one is continuous beam. Third one is cantilever beam. Fourth one is fixed beam. In the first type, we call it as simple beam. This is a kind of bar which is resting upon support at its end. This is called as simple beam. Second one is continuous beam. This is a kind of bar which is resting upon more than two supports. In the third type we call it as cantilever beam. A bar which is fixed on at one end and another end is free to move. This type of bar we call it as a cantilever bar and last one is fixed beam the bar which is fixed on its both the ends this type of bars we call it as fixed beam these are the types of beams which may come for two marks in a semester exam let us see the applications of beam in the applications of beams we can see where we used beams in our fabrications of trolleys, making a chassis or frames in a truck, and in the elevators, construction of platforms and bridges, and while constructing the buildings, bridges, all the times we use beams, or we can say these are the four types of beams we can see in these applications. This may also come for two marks in your semester exam in the next topic we will derive an equation for single cantilever or rectangular beam expression this may come for eight marks and this is an important topic in this chapter lever we already know what does it means it means the beam which is supported or the one end of the beam is fixed to the support and another end of the beam is free to move so this is what we call it as a cantilever same cantilever we are using in this derivation where its weight is less than the beam and the length is larger compared to its thickness and the beam is fixed to at one end and another end is free so let us consider l is the fixed beam length and w is the attached load to the other end which is free let the neutral axis we call it as a b gets deflected to a to b dash so b dash is the changes or depression consider section p at the distance x from the fixed end so that at p b nearly equal to p b dash is nothing but l minus x l is the original length x is the length which is somewhere between p to 
B. So the bending moment is produced at point P that we can write it P is equals to W into L minus X and restoring couple acting at P we can say Y by R into IG this we got it when we derived the equation for moment bending moment which we already derived in the previous video I hope you already know how we derived the equation for bending of moment if you don't know then press the bell icon and go to that video study that and then you will get to know how we derived or how we got that equation for bending of moment so let us come back to this video in the next step at the equilibrium the restoring couple is equal to the bending moment in that case we can write equation number 1 y by r into ig is equals to w into l minus x in the same cantilever let us consider another section q which is close to p so that the radius of curvature of a section p and q are the same let us r be the radius of the curvature d theta be the angle between the radii of the curvature at p and q if a dx be the distance between p and q then we can write it as dx is equals to r into d theta or we can also write it as r equals to dx by dt take it as equation number 2 so by using equation number 1 and equation number 2 we get y into ig into dt d theta by dx is equals to w into l minus x so by solving this equation we got equation number 3 that is d theta is equals to w into l minus x by y into ig into dx take it as equation number 3 and also d theta be the angle between the tangents drawn at p and q respectively so the dh is the depression between the points of p and q so that we can write it as equation number four that is d theta is equals to dh by l minus x take it as equation number four the next step by using equation number three and equation number four we get dh is equals to w into l minus x whole square divided by y into ig into dx take it as equation number five to get a depression h let us consider an integration to the equation number 5 with respect to x so while we integrating the equation number 5 we get integration of dh is equals to integration of w l minus x whole square divided by y into ig into dx so once we integrate the uh, equation we get w by y into ig whole bracket l square plus x cube by 3 minus 2l x square by 2 in plus c c is the constant once we solved by taking the help of x equals to 0 and h equals to 0 so in that case we got the ultimate equation for depression that is h is equals to w l cube by 3 into y into ig so the Young's modulus y is equals to w l cube divided by 3 into y into ig so this is the equation which we got it when we try to derive a cantilever expression but this is not the end of the derivation because we are working on a rectangular beam so that means ig is equals to bd cube by 12 this is the equation we must apply in this above equations that means y is equals to 4 mg l raised to cube divided by h b d cube this is the final equation for an rectangular beam or we can say that cantilever beam and this is the end of the derivation and this e derivation may come for 8 marks and so that's why this is very important derivation so that's it for today guys i hope you got to know whatever we tried to explain in this video if you have any queries related to this derivation you can comment on the comment section and don't forget to like this video and share with your friends with this signing off have a nice day